This is my best friend Kelvin. I've known him for about three years now. He was the first gay friend I had. He's a GAM. Gay Asian male. Yep, queers love their acronyms. Art student, looking for mates, dates, and maybe even cards you made. Say hi and we'll do small talk. How's your first online date? Are you in love? No, he was really weird. Go on. First he was late, then he started bitching about his housemate who I don't know, and then he started checking out another guy while we were on the date and said he wanted a threesome. Sounds like a whore. Was he pretty? Not really. Oh, Ben Fitzgerald, you have got to be picky when it comes to people you go on dates with. They have to be pretty. Now you need to come up with the criteria for guys who want to dance with. Do you have a criteria? Sure. Of course I do. Skinny, twiggy, and under 23. That's a pretty limited criteria. You're narrowing out the amount of guys you can meet. Well, I just know what I'm attracted to. I mean, I'm sure the guy you and I date have a criteria. P.S. No fatties are oldies. So, what are your restrictions then? Bear, anti leather, IDDA. Great. More acronyms. What's that? I'm doing. That's terrible! Do guys actually say that to you? Yeah, but thank God I'm like hot Asian. I mean, I turn IDDA guys into IDA. I do Asian? That's right. And don't you forget it. But you see, that's what the gay world's actually like. You don't want to be discriminated against. And yet, we discriminate each other. Sad, but true. But they should. No, they really shouldn't. But I think you should. I mean, you gotta be specific with what you're looking for. I mean, there are a lot of weirdos out there, you know? I mean, firstly, you can deny it all you want, but looks are important. Oh, and maybe add on your profile what kind of personality you're looking for. Like, you don't want a dumb person? They're great for the first time. Next morning, it's like, oh my god, do not you know how to use a man? Doesn't matter what race, shape, or size you are, feel free to say hi.